<laughs> oh my god, you're so funny. I did not. Hey, hey, ladies, what are we drinking tonight? Um, I was thinking like a vodka soda. I was thinking like a vodka diet coke, or or maybe like a vodka soda with lime. No! We are not basic bitches. There are so many wonderful alcoholic things for us to try. Barkeep. Yes. Give us the best national cocktail from around the world. Around the world. Which uh, cocktail exactly we're talking about? Oh, well, we'll find out on this episode of The Ranking International Cocktails. Cocktails. I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up. And speaking of my catchphrase, by popular demand, we're proud to introduce the official Rank King t-shirt, written in my very own handwriting, which you can get now at tryguys.com in black or white. Finally, you can tell your friends that you're right, they're wrong, and they should shut up. Try Guys Gay Time! Welcome to The Rank King, the show where I rank things. I'm your Rank King, Eugene, and I would like to welcome my very special guests, The Rank Skanks. Transgender supermodel, Ari Swanzer. International drag icon and West Hollywood legend, Rhea Latre. So I've been known to drink around countries, and today we're gonna be drinking around the world. Mm. Now this isn't a liquor, this isn't a wine, this is an actual mixed drink that a specific country is known for. The wonderful staff and bartender here at BG Lounge have done an exceptional job making these cocktails. What are your personal drinking preferences? I am a sassy Latina who loves her tequila. It keeps me up all night and my calories are super low because I drink it neat. Uh, I like champagne because I am a bougie bitch. I expect nothing but the best. <laughs> this isn't a dating video. I'm not oh. trying to get you a man. Oh, I've already got one. Oh. Or six. Well, I like it thick and I like it nasty. So I'm a big whiskey bourbon boy. Because we have such diverse palettes like everyone watching out there, I'm gonna allow my rank skanks to give us their own ranking by the end of the video. Mm -hmm. But in the end, of course, there is only one ranking that reigns supreme, and you're looking at it. Now to judge these cocktails, we have three important criteria. Number one, the look. The look. What's the presentation? Is she beat or is she broke? Number two, the flavor. The flavor. How does she taste? How is she in the mouth? And finally, number three, the drunk ability. The drunk ability. Can you imagine yourself getting, you know, turnt on this drink? Would you buy it at the bar? I would also like to say that we're not judging the country. We're just judging it on the drink alone. All right, y'all ready to get drunk on a 10 a.m. on a Monday? In the words of Gia Gunn, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Try guys, gay time. Let's bring on the first drink from Belgium. Black Russian, Ooh. it's a vodka and Kahlua. Okay, so so this got... is the Black Russian. I don't know, I just keep thinking about how if this drink was a person, it would look like me. It looks very elegant, very simple. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, with two ingredients, you can't go wrong. Right, and it's easy to make at home. And it does look like you. It does. <laughs> Cold. Dark and rigid. Hard. <laughs> On sale. On sale. <laughs> <laughs> On sale. We ready for the flavor? Oh, that's lovely. Mm, right? I love that. So it very much tastes like iced coffee that's spiked taste. <laughs> that's definitely a dessert drink. All right. <laughs> you like vodka, though? Mm hmm No, it's banging. I'm it's, just in shock. It's oh. still 10 a.m. <laughs> this is what, like, my eighth grade teacher would probably bring Absolutely, mm -hmm. she did. When this she's just like over it. Drink. You can get fucked up off this drink. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Turn, you're not gonna know your phone number, you're gonna lose your phone. Honestly, I think I know exactly what I'm gonna have every morning when I wake up now, because I want something to have a little, like, kick in my step. <laughs> you know, what have we done? Fuck the coffee, honey. All right, let's get the flags over here. I'm gonna put her in the middle. I like oh, coffee. Wow. Yeah. Next. Drink number two from Bermuda. Rum swizzle. Freshly squeezed orange juice, pineapple juice, two kinds of different drums and stir the bitters in it to bring, cut it off all those sweet edge. Just be careful while you're drinking, it's strong. Thanks, Ozzy. Yay. Thanks, Ozzy. I'm never careful. Thanks. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorge. I'm ready to go to Bermuda, honey. She's the prettiest person here. Some place called the Swizzle Inn made it first, apparently. That was my name in prison. Swizzle Inn? The Swizzle Inn, oh honey. Oh, you, ah. you Swizzle Inn? <laughs> oh, let's do the flavor. 
Oh, bitch. <laughs> okay. Tastes like a dad drink. A dad drink? Are yeah. you just calling Ray a dad? Daddy chaser, because it's two rums. It's dark and light rum. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I really like about it, is that dark rum. It's like the cocktail that you have when you've been at the pool all day, Sunset. and you're ready to dive into something a little bit darker and deeper. Drunkability is through the roof. Yeah. yeah you don't know how much you're drinking when you're drinking a rum drink with juice. And it looks really gay, mm -hmm. but it tastes very masked. For me, higher the black Russian, Russian was higher for me. Okay, so you're gonna... So I'll put her in the middle. What I said, I told you. put the okay. Russian up there. Okay. I'm gonna put her around. Uh, oh. Because it tastes, I like fruity and like non-offensive drinks. Next! Caprinha, mm. it's from, one of my favorites. From Brazil. Whoa. Yes. No, Ozzy, what's in the Caprinha? A sugar cane rum, which is made in Brazil, muddled lime with simple syrup. So my first trip internationally after college was to South America. And Brazil, y'all, brigado. Brazilians are amazing and beautiful. I lived in Miami for five years and that's all I had was caprinhas and mojitos. I like how basic it looks. I like that it's not all muddled with all the fruits in there. And you love that basic aesthetic. <laughs> you seen the spirit. <laughs> I had so many capirinhas when I was in Brazil. This is authentic as shit. I love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> are you okay? Kind of, Why, you so sounds, Why you sound so hoarse? Um, it was tight. This is tight. It's yeah. sugar. This is, there's a lot in there. It tastes to me like, uh, like baby food. What? Like that banana baby food. I just said the banana one. I just know yeah. it's a banana. Girl, why are y'all eating banana She's tripping. baby food. For snacks, and si instead of some people like to have taquitos, I'll have a little slab of baby food. No, oh, you're not that serious. That is so much smarter I'm than taquitos. Serious. Is that something people do? Do people eat baby food first? Oh yeah, it's one. fashion week <laughs> twice a year. I learned that actually from Willem. Oh, so you have baby food to stay thin for something? Yeah. Oh, why don't you just like eat a, I don't know, a vegetable? What about that drunk ability? Bang it. Definitely, yeah. you can get wasted on this. Wasted Absolutely. off a cup of I think yeah. if you're a sweet drink person, like if you want something to be sugary, mm. then this is dangerous. Mm. Love it I that. love this more than the Black Russian, and this has a place in my heart because of Miami. Well, I'm gonna put her here. Thank right. you. Next. Next. We're now at our fourth drink from Canada. Ooh. It's called Caesar. It's vodka, homemade clamato, lime juice, and black pepper. I love Bloody Marys because this is a Caesar from Canada. They use clamato, which is Blech. clam juice. Do you like clam juice? No! Absolutely not. <laughs> of clam I'm juice. already enough fish. I don't need more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Guys, I'm tipsy. Let's talk about the, the look. It's pretty the look. or whatever. I love the way Bloody Marys look. Huh. It's, it's like, like a Bloody Mary, but it's lighter and has like a slight seafood flavor. Uh. <laughs> I feel like I'm on fucking Fear Factor. <laughs> For all absolutely the kids. Not. <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> oh, Canada, ew, Canada. Where's the flag? <laughs> <laughs> she going on the bottom. Mm. Tomato, a little clam. All right. <laughs> if you want cold soup with a little bit of a seafood and after flavor. Yeah, now we're done with this. <laughs> Well, you're both in? Yeah. Girl. Canada. 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 But what about the drunk ability? You can't get drunk on this? Oh, you can't finish it. I won't. You get drunk. I'm going to opt for a water. The next. Next drink from Cuba. Mojito. It's really basic. It's muddled mint, has a lime juice, simple syrup, and rum, topped with uh, club soda. Cheers. The origins of this drink can date back almost to like the 1500s. Wow. wow. Yeah. They knew what they were doing. It's the beautiful. It looks Fresh, like a drowned garden. Gorgeous. Beautiful. I just think the mint really sets it off. Yeah, sets it really it does. Mint also yes. stands for like 100% like, ooh, she's mint. I'm excited. Mm, you know that flavor. I know it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, you know. Tastes like a pool party. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. This is a kissing drink. You can totally make out right after having a sip. Not like the Canadian yes. Caesar, not like that Clamato. <laughs> I've gotten drunk on mojitos a lot. I have been drunk on mojitos for years. What I'll say about mojitos is that they are a slight bit pricier than regular cocktails. So it's the one thing that keeps me from drinking them Do you want to know why? The bartenders have to muddle. Muddle. So it's a lot of work mm. and it's a lot of quality. Where are we putting Camila, Cabello, oh, honey. or Cuba? Where are we putting That's Cuba? That's my number one. Oh shit. Wow, you went. High and you went lower than I thought. I'm optimistic. Go. Next. Next, we are now traveling to France, the Kir Royale. So it's a creme de cassis, black currant liqueur, topped with champagne. Merci beaucoup. Really, you're like staring at it I'm like so it's a excited. diamond. Yeah. How do we feel about the look? I love the fruit floating at the top. It feels like it looks so fresh, and it smells super lemony. 
Mmm. Yum. Lemony snack. Yum. Oh, yeah. You just look fancy. Look at look at Reese holding this. Say something in French. Un jupe. That means skirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. Je m'appelle Rhea. <laughs> oh my god. Um, bonsoir. <laughs> Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? I can have 20 of these. You know what it is? It's that um, black currant liqueur. Mm. The creme de gassis. The black or the berry? The, the sweeter sweet the juice. juice. Mm. Drunk ability. Now you waste it off yeah. this. I can't get drunk off of champagne. I do all the time. Let's put the ranking on for okay. my second home, France. Uh, I'm gonna go here because I feel like it's a classic, it's it simple, here. it tastes lovely, mm. and it's French. Next drink. We do have over here Irish coffee, brown sugar, Irish whiskey, topped with hot coffee, whipped cream. I think it's cute, it looks like a sundae. It's what Starbucks based all its drinks off mm -hmm. of. Oh, yeah. Mm. Where? Mm. This is the true morning drink. We thought the Black Russian was the morning drink. Uh, it's like a real ass glass of coffee. It tastes exactly like coffee. This makes me think of like, your dad got up in the, in the 50s and he's going to work, but he Before hates, he beats you. Yeah, he hates you <laughs> and he just needs his drink, <laughs> but it's morning and he's going off to the, the plant. You guys I wouldn't have know stuff. if you yeah, ever had a dad. No. I wouldn't know. Oh, really? People were oppressed <laughs> in the 40s. Really? <laughs> yeah. Have we talked about this? And drunk ability, I feel like, I don't know, it's coffee with whiskey. It's dangerous. Yeah. I see you know why they put mean? whipped cream on it. They're like, let's sell this. Put it yeah. where you know it's going to go and move Canada. <laughs> oh, you're putting it below Canada. Oh, okay. yeah. So does this remind you of your dad that wasn't there? Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, thank you, Jesse Jones. <laughs> like, what is this? Yeah, it's gonna go where her Canada is. Okay, no so one's going below Canada. So you really just so we're that. fucking clear, that shit was nasty. This nah. would be really nice on a very cold Irish morning. Colder than a witch's teat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next. And now we're traveling to beautiful Italy. So we're having a nice Negroni. It's equal part of Campari, sweet vermouth, and gin. So, let's talk about the look. I love the color of this drink. Beautiful. It's really pretty. It looks like, like, it's like her hair. And I know from experience, not many people like the Campari flavor because it's very bitter, herbal, fruity. Uh, very specific flavor that Italians love. Not everyone likes it. I love that you like does, to smell it too. Does it taste like fucking on the beach? I always love to smell things. Mm -hmm. And I also like to smell things if I'm gonna taste it. You haven't had Campari. It's a, it's a, it's a taste. Oh, it's a taste. This is a drink you try. <laughs> this is this is a drink you try for sure. This tastes like my grandmother's love. She hated children. This is punishing. Oh yeah, it's very bitter. I'm punished for sure. Mm. You could get off drunk off of just one of these. Yeah, you could. But this is a drink that I I sip. I appreciate it. I sip. I'm not like mm -hmm. chugging. You know this. what? If I, if you don't have a lot of money, order one of these because you're gonna have it all night. I would like to put it at the very end. Those other drinks I would totally drink and I like. This one I would never drink. I know Granny is third from last. Y'all yeah, have very similar. Palettes. She's really pretty, but. Fuck her. <gasps> Try, Try guys, gay time. time. A nicely done Paloma. Some uh, fresh squeezed lime juice, grapefruit juice, some kosher salt and splash of agave with a nice uh, tequila reposado. I think it's pretty. It's beautiful. Very pretty. I love the color. Classy drink. Yeah, a rich Latina woman is drinking this. Yeah, like grapefruit. J-Lo holds this for sure. This is banging. Oh. oh, she already likes it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a margarita, bitch. It is like the prettier, sexier cousin to the margarita. And she has more money. Way more money. Because there's like, oh, there's margarita and there's Paloma. So the taste is delicious. It very, it very much feels like a grapefruit tinged, brighter margarita. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a tequila person and you've never had a Paloma, it seems like you need to go out and order one right now. Oh. You can get wasted on this drink. Absolutely. Oh, yes. You're putting Paloma as your number one. Oh, this is it. Wow, you both put Paloma very high. Today was a success based on my new favorite drink. Mom, Ranking, bitch. not only judging and ordering, but changing lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, changing change. livers. Change. <laughs> Next, we have Peru. Pisco sour. It's made with uh, pisco. It's a rum with equal parts of lemon juice, simple syrup, and the frothiness is coming from the egg white. This is from Peru and Chile. Mm -hmm. So pisco is like the national liqueur of both those countries. Let's just say how this it's looks. So it's so pretty. Stunning, the colors gorge. I like love the part. separation of the nipple and the rest of the yes. breast. <laughs> and I love that the base is milky. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. Get past the froth. Right. I kind of like it. It, um, it smells kind of licorice-y. A little gardeny. You mm. feel the fruit and you feel the, the, the herb. In the bark. I don't feel the bite. <laughs> um, I like it initially. Would I make it at home? God, no. Mm -mm. I feel like I'm drinking apple cider vinegar. A little bit. It's tasty though, but it's light. What about yeah. the drunkability? I don't taste much with it. I, I feel like it could be one of those drinks that really sneak up on you. Mm. I don't know if Low I could on get past scale. one, so I don't think I could get drunk off of one oh, of these. Oh, interesting. In the middle, oh, because I don't know how I feel about her. I'm gonna put her fourth down. Next. Are we ready to go back to the Caribbean? Puerto Rico. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bad Bunny, baby. Bunny. He didn't even have to say anything. He was just like, it's a fucking pina colada. <laughs> Pineapple, rum, Coco Lopez cream. But you know, like a lot of the Caribbean drinks, the look is on point. It's gorgeous. I frozen. love the frozen kind. I'm not a big frozen, frozen yeah. cocktail guy. I feel like if you get this blended all the time, you should get the OG one. Cause it's so tasty. I almost want more coconut. I'm used to that sugary bullshit version from the store. Oh, because this is less sugary than that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely. Mm, I'm ready. Uh, Drunkability. I want 20 of them. Well, you already just finished one in two yeah. seconds. Can you have 19 others, please? <laughs> well, where would we put the pina colada from Puerto Rico? Okay. One now? That's your number one? More than the Paloma? Yep. Bye. Damn, girl. Nice so know easily you, girl. Okay. Nope. I'm always looking for the Where? next best bitch. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you okay. were in Mexico and you visited Puerto Look, Rico when you were Let's be real, done. I already sucked them. I got a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Puerto Rico. And then we're off to the next country. Been a lot of places, seen a lot of faces. Uh, hell, oh, I've been fucking with different, different races. races. Mm -hmm. We do have a Singapore slang, gin, cherry liqueur, cherry. A herbal Benedictine liqueur, lime juice, and that's it. Try Guys have just been there in the future. We're filming this before we're there, but this video is coming out after we were there. For Yay, Singapore! Singapore! Yeah. So let's talk about that lurk. I like the drips from the cherry into the cocktail, how it kind of just like falls like down that. in there. Yeah. Okay, ladies first. Thank you. Tell me what you think. You really get the cherry. Oh, that's amazing. I love this. This is like wild cherry, wild I like cherry Coca-Cola. I like it. It has a wild cherry feel. I get Drunk. wasted off of that. It's definitely unique <laughs> yeah. because think about the last time you had a cherry flavored mixed drink. You know, it's just not something you will get often. I wish that they did. All right, let's do Arise first. Where do you want to put? I'm gonna have to replace something. Black Russian is moving down. Right, so <laughs> you have her in third place. <laughs> yeah, girl. Swing. You know what? So I'm better. moving Paloma down. Uh, my Singapore sling is gonna go second. Okay. Wow, Singapore sling did really well amongst yeah. my rank skanks. Next. Oh, everyone knows this. this. Oh, sangria. Yes. Sangria. So it's the main base. It's a wine to bring it up a nice flavor into it. Put apple brandy and Cointreau, and I modeled some berries in it with pineapple. The color contrast is gorgeous. And the you can orange smell with it the from pomegranate. here. I love seeing the muddled fruit on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, mama's juice. Let's start dinner. Right, take yeah, a mama's Xanax. Juice. <laughs> this is what's up. This is like that I will not not be rich drink. Yes, yes, this is yeah. a big little lies drink. It's I just call back. it the Renata. The Renata. <laughs> this is the Renata. I'm a Bella. Give me back my wine glass. Oh, this is like grape juice, girl. This is like gay Jesus' blood. This, yes. Yeah, this is gay Jesus. If honey. Jesus was a little more fluid, his name is what it Jesus. Would taste like. Yep. <laughs> yeah. This you would you would drink jugs of and then realize you're drunk. You're at dinner and you're just like, I got the sangria pitcher if anyone wants to share, and they'll all fucking drink it. They will you're all drink right. it. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna have to put her at my new number one. Are you serious? No. Sangria is my no. Are we moving things okay. down? I'm gonna move everything We're down. We're gonna move so all you all motherfucker down. Bye. Bye. Wow. And what about you, Ray? My sangria is down here. Oh, okay. You love it, but it's not as good as these It's tablets. good, but these ones are my girls. And wow. Hey. This is a Lebanese Ara, which is they really good at making it. This is how we represent it. First of all, an empty glass. And actually this is 50% alcohol. Okay. So now as you can see, it changed the color. Yeah. Becomes oh, milky wow. white. Weird. You see that? Uh-huh. And that's wow. just from the, the liquor. The ice right now with top of it. With water. With water. Oh. Oh, first of all, you can really smell, smell that anise come off immediately. 
Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Here we go. That slight licorice flavor. <laughs> I think this has been the less, best look so far because it transformed in front of your eyes. You like a Pokemon I evolving. Know. Cheers. Oh my. You love it. I've never had that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's literally licorice drink. So drunk ability is kind of with a full night of eating and drinking. So I think this is more of a long, <laughs> long drunkenness. It's more of a marathon, not a race. I don't hate it. I just, I'm not a licorice fan. So but like, just think of how beautiful, how beautiful the people of Turkey are. I want your, <laughs> I want your lion's note. I need note. your lion's note. <laughs> okay. And I ain't lying. <laughs> We're horny. <laughs> yes, we are so horny. <laughs> Help us. I'm gonna put her in the middle here. Oh. No, actually, I did really like the rum swizzle. Got it. I'm gonna put it here. I like it better than all of those things. So we've got two countries left, and we're going to the jolly old UK. We do have a pimp's cup. Yes. Wow. Pimps. I love it. It's named after James Pimp. It's a liquor. Actually, it's 25% of alcohol and top with soda and ginger ale with a cucumber gonna have like that, gives that freshness. It does have that candy cane swirl yeah, uh, that, around the side. When two become one look. It's, it's, I would say that the actual color, I, I wouldn't know if it was spiked with soda or ginger ale, but this is a ginger ale drink. Spice up your life with ginger. Baby, ginger. Hello. Mm -hmm. Posh. Okay. Here we go. I love this, it's fucking banging. I yeah. love it. How do we drink this? I like it. Yeah, it's interesting. There's a certain like freshness to it, but it's also mm -hmm. like slightly earthy. I just really want to try what this Pimm's tastes like. Mm -hmm. It has like a Coca-Cola base flavor. All right, where are you going to put the Pimm's cup, ladies? You can go above the black Russian. No! Oh, really? And where would you put yours? Um, I'm going to put her down here. Guys, one more drink left and guess where we're going. This has been alphabetical order and guess who's dead last in the alphabet? Zimbabwe? Yes, but we don't have a drink. <laughs> Our final country, of course, is the good old U.S. of A. You ready to take it home, literally? The American most traditional and classical cocktail, Manhattan. <gasps> Pretty. Carrie Bradshaw yes. loves those. The rye, because it's the American uh, traditional whiskey. We're using a sweet vermouth. Yeah, this shit has been popping for over a century. <laughs> Let's talk about the visual. I think this looks fancy, but it's like dark and, and mysterious. It's it is pretty mysterious. but masculine, like some of my boys. Oh. The cherries are encased in amber like Jurassic Park and you can extract it and create dinosaurs. I think Great it's that. beautiful. Look at the way it's like hitting. Who are you in sex in the city? One, two, three. Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so diverse. All right, we ready for the flavor? Let's do it. It's like a nice brown eye. I guess we haven't had many whiskey or rye drinks, huh? All right. That's amazing. Tasty, right? It's I good. Love it. it's, I don't hate it. It also has that sweetness and fruitiness to it, which is nice. It's because like, with whiskey, mm. it's so heavy and so harsh, it's hard to drink it, but in a Manhattan, it's kind of smooth. Delicious. It's like I'm on a boat in a dock inside of an old library that's also in a fancy bar. That's how I feel like drinking this drink. That is layered. I do feel like with these types of drinks like this and an old fashioned. Oh, this uh, makes me want to loosen my wig. Yeah, they, they, you, no, you're good. You look cute. Just Don't like, take it off. Just, you know, cool. Oh, there we go. So, what about the drunk ability? Uh, I'm yeah, drunk, I'm drunk. I told you. <laughs> We're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you putting the final drink in your Honestly, ranking? there is one cup on this whole table that doesn't have a flag in it. Right here. And it's exactly where I want to put it. <gasps> Bitch. Really? Exactly. Same. Shut up. Shh. You're both putting America? Right there. That low? Shit, well that's your ranking, y'all. So let's discuss your top three. So, Rhea, you had Pina Colada. Number two, Singapore Sling. And then the, the, the Capri, I don't remember what it tastes like, but it's number three. <laughs> and for your top, you had Sangria, number one. Oh, Sangria, yeah, it gave me my full rich white woman fantasy, but it was in Spain, so it was just enough. <laughs> and then you also had the Mojito and the Paloma. And you both share the same bottom. Just like in West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> so which include Canada's Caesar, Ireland's Irish coffee, and Italy's Negroni. Why are they your bottom three? They're disgusting. Nasty. But of course, that does not mean that they are right, because this is my show. And as we know, I'm right, you're wrong. Shut up. I will close ranks and show you what the true ranking is. 
few disclaimers. Again, this comes down to personal taste. We have very different palettes. It's all subjective. My least favorite <laughs> drink was the rum swizzle. What? I love everything about the tropics and the Caribbean, except I, it, it just was the most basic for me. It tasted kind of like orange pineapple juice. Oh. Okay, my second to last was the Singapore sling. I know, <laughs> son of a bitch. I know, it tasted like cherry Coke. Oh. Third to last, pina colada. Wow. I love pina coladas, but I also feel like, I don't know, my mouth's been there and I don't need to go Your there again. Your mouth's done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, my fourth to last was the Pimm's Cup. It reminded me too much of Coke, which I think is delicious, but overall, not something I would come back to voluntarily. Still in my lower half, I have the Caipirinha. Ah! <laughs> I am insulted. I love Brazil. I love everything about Brazil, <laughs> but the Caipirinhas are just so sugar forward. The Irish coffee. Again, it's kind of basic. It's just coffee and whiskey, but because it was one of the few whiskey representatives, I had to put it a little higher than y'all. The Sangria. I should leave. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like sometimes I have not great sangrias. Every basic bitch thinks they can make it. Lil' Diamond does not Pure Royale. It's a cooler way to drink champagne. Nothing too special in my book. Lion's Milk. A very specific taste that one must be into for Aww. licorice, but I thought the entire experience, the changing of the liquor, I thought it was really special. The Black Russian. What can I say? Yeah, it Ooh, was delicious. It was good. It was the Caesar. Oh, listen, God. listen, y'all. My gag reflex is alive right now. Bloody Marys are amazing. Clam juice and seafood, right up this alley. He likes cold soup with vodka and seafood. That's right. <laughs> Paloma. Mm. Mm. The tequila depth with the grapefruit, I thought that pairing was wonderful. I don't know why I don't have it all the time. The pisco sour. I just thought it was subtle. I thought it was elegant. I thought the pisco had a very interesting flavor. And I really like drinks with egg whites. My number three. The mojito. Oh. oh my God. Yeah. You've redeemed yourself. Listen, I'm not saying I'm against sweetness and I do love the pure sugary sweetness of mojito, but it's so fucking like put in the stratosphere with that mint. Number two, the Negroni. Oh, oh, oh girl. Mm, I like that Negroni. I want to be challenged by my drinks. And I think the Negroni, while it challenged you in a bad way, it challenged me in a good way. Like, it made me want to go, ooh, I'll come back and ace that class. And number one, which is crazy, who would have known we'd come here, was not because of the country necessarily, but man, am I into Manhattan's. I cannot. What? Oh. Yep, I thought it was the best, tasted the best, had the best depth. This is my final ranking. At the top, I have the Manhattan, the Negroni, and the Mojito. And at my bottom, I have the Pina Colada, the Singapore Sling and the rum swizzle. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments. Let us know which country you're from. I think we can all agree that we love drinking international cocktails. A round of applause for all of the countries around the world. Yes, God. And round of applause for my two ranked skanks. It's been The Rank King. I'm Yari Odao. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. You're wrong. Shut, Shut up. up. Ladies, what are we drinking tonight? Uh, um, I was thinking like a vodka soda. I was thinking like a vodka Diet Coke. Or a vodka soda with lime. No! Oh! We are not basic bitches. Did your ear Did your earring fly off? My Ray-Bans flew straight off.